Hey Virgo, this is going to be your 2022 yearly reading. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Hopefully it's bright enough for you. So with your channeled messages, what I was getting is there was like, I had a vision of a storm and you were calming this storm. So you're going to have some heavy energy that's coming up for the year 2022. But I feel that you're going to make some pretty significant changes because I did see the angel number 555. Um, what's so funny, a Virgo just texted me on my phone. Um, anyways, you're going through some massive changes and this is a really good thing because I feel like once you calm this storm inside of you, it's like there's a fast paced energy moving forward. It's like something is propelling you forward with this change. So yeah, we have the sun in reverse. So definitely moving through the darkness, shining a light on things, bringing more positivity into your life. All right, so the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna split it up into seasons. And we're gonna go ahead and start with spring. We have spiritual strength, moving on and, yeah, moving on. And then the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Now, 2021 might have been a really dark period for you. I was getting that with Libra as well. I am picking up an energy of loss. Let me put my phone over here so I'm not getting distracted. Um, yeah, so there is an energy of loss here, but there's also like an energy of, it's a little bit different than Libra. You might have Libra in your chart. If so, go check out that reading. It should be uploaded by the time I'm done with this one. truth at the at the bottom yeah you're un uncovering the truth about a situation for sure okay some of you might have in your numerology chart the life path number nine that is showing up very significantly okay Five of Wands energy. Yeah, this is that chaotic energy that we were talking about. Definitely facing your darkness, whatever that is for you. It feels very much like um, a trauma that you have gone through. But you have grown... Yeah, there's that trauma energy. You have grown a lot from this. Now, this could be with like an apps... Um, absent father that was in your life or a father that was very controlling there is that energy there's the energy of loss with the five of cups or overall you're needing to heal your relationship with men what is this six of swords we have aries energy with the fool Ace of Cups. For some of you, this could be like a really strong soul connection that you're moving on from. For some of you, you're in this relationship and things have gotten really heavy. It's kind of like you're realizing this person isn't right for you and you're kind of turning your back on the connection and you're giving yourself permission to let this go. It's, there's just a really heavy energy around this. For others of you, this correlates with trauma that you've been through. And this is purely about self-love. What is this Ace of Pentacles? That's interesting. We have the Nine of Swords and we have the Six of Swords that came out again. You already have that. Ten of Pentacles. It really feels like you're up in your head about things in the springtime. 
there's something that's really bothering you, but all of this is pushing you to make a transition in your life. Now, this could be a literal transition. You might be transgender and you're coming out as transgender or you're coming out in the gay community. That energy is here. For others of you, this is just a transition out of like, how do you say, out of survival mode and to feeling more stable within yourself, no longer surviving. It's more of an energy of thriving. That's so beautiful the way that came out. Let me show you. So we have this energy here, the Nine of Swords, where like something is haunting you and you make this change, this transition, and there's more stability in your life. For some of you, this is just inner stability. You're feeling more secure within yourself. Things are starting to blossom. So the winter time might have especially been hard for you. Maybe you have like seasonal depression, something like that, or you were just moving through some really heavy energy and it's like you're finally seeing the light in a situation. Now, when you start to feel more secure within yourself and you feel stable, emotionally and mentally stable, there's like this new opportunity, something that's being presented for you. And this is something that you've been working for ever since the beginning of your awakening process. Let's pull a couple of moonology cards. Okay, so I just had a vision of a Virgo um, that is barefoot, standing in the grass. You might need to connect with nature. Walk in the grass barefoot allow yourself to embrace mother earth yeah adjustments are required we'll work through your fears meditate and contemplate yeah so it's like the first half of spring you're in that reflection mode you're really thinking about everything deeply you're thinking about all sides of the situation and you're setting yourself free. You're making the necessary changes to go from survival mode into this energy of thriving. Now, you're going to have to confront some fears when you do this. It's going to feel really uncomfortable. But I feel, yeah, we have luck on your side. I feel at this stage in your life, you're ready for it. You are 100% ready for it. There's something here about needing to speak up. That message isn't for everyone, but somebody who needs to speak up about something. There's something you need to say in the spring of 2022. We have step out of your comfort zone as I say that. Yeah. Yeah, so you're definitely going to be taking yourself out of your comfort zone. So let's go ahead and move into the summertime. happening for Virgo summer of 2022 I just felt Archangel Michael's present presence very strongly you got the ace of Pentacles again you're expanding some of you have Libra in your chart we have sacrifice summer of 2022 for Virgo now, some of you are working a job that you're absolutely miserable at. And you're starting to think, yeah, there might be a lot of drama at work, feeling like you have to stand your ground. Maybe you need to establish boundaries with people at work or in your life overall. We've got the Four of Wands here. Let's break it down. I heard seeing the fruits of your labor with that Ace of Pentacles. What's that Ace of Pentacles? We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Three of Swords. Be careful if you're in a relationship. Ten of Pentacles. We did mention this in the spring. If you are in a relationship, this might be the time that you actually walk away if things have gotten too heavy with that three of swords. Now, this can be an energy where there's been some kind of betrayal or you've been deeply hurt in this connection. Now, again, this can also correlate to your work as well.
someone's having issues with their mom in summer 2022 it's like the two of you just keep butting heads There's something here with your family. I'm feeling a strong grandmother presence who passed away from an illness. This could have been like a chronic illness, something that was really draining her. Knight of Cups. Okay, so basically the springtime and a little bit going into the summer is kind of like when you're in a deep reflection and this new beginning might actually start for you by the end of summertime. You're going to have to detach from somebody and it's really going to hurt, but you realize they don't have your best interests at heart and in order for you to have that stability and to... It's kind of like you're sacrificing something for abundance as well. Somebody here might be moving. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be traumatic for all of you. Um, for some of you, it is. That energy is definitely here. But this can be something as simple as leaving home for the first time and going out on your own. Or maybe you're going to a college across country or abroad, something like that. And it's a very painful ending for you. Um, well, not ending, but you're having to say goodbye to a lot of people that you love. Maybe you graduated. Ten of Swords, yeah. There is an energy here of somebody, specifically a feminine energy, being very cold towards you. Again, this could be your mother or just another woman in your life. It's like the, the switch flips is the vision that I'm getting with this person. All right, let's see what that sacrifice card is. What's this sacrifice card? Justice in reverse. Some of you might have a court case going on. You might lose some money with this court case. This could be a divorce. For others of you, there's karmic balance that's being restored. But it's definitely not going to feel like that in the beginning. It's kind of an, er an energy of feeling like everything's working against you. But in the long run, I'm seeing things working out. Five of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, this isn't easy for you to go through. Somebody's been dishonest with you and you're realizing this. You're let it, having to let go of a relationship because the love is gone. Somebody has become very cold towards you. We have Gemini and Sagittarius energy here as well. This could happen in Gemini season. Yeah. We have the King of Cups in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse. You might be fighting over custody over a child Maybe a water sign child, potentially. The love's gone. That's what I keep hearing. And somebody's gone cold. Now, for others of you, this could be a boss. You might be overworking yourself, so you're going to look for an opportunity elsewhere. There's your card. Yeah, you're definitely looking for an opportunity elsewhere, and I do feel like you find it. It's something that is going to be very beneficial to you. There's definitely an energy here of promotion, climbing the ladder. It just might not happen in the way that you're expecting it to. 
there is prosperity and abundance here for you a lot of happiness but before you get that it's like yeah it says a time for healing yeah there's something you need to sacrifice for your own happiness have faith in your dreams yeah maybe you're quitting your nine to five job to go after like make like um to either go after your dreams or to make like kind of like a side hustle into a full-time job a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries this might manifest for you in i believe i believe that's october the full moon in aries for 2022 september october so it might manifest for you at that time, but that's kind of like what's unfolding for you. I feel that this is definitely a time to give to yourself. You're probably going to want to spend a lot of time alone during this period because you are healing something major and you're coming to terms with something in your mind. Your hard work is paying off. Yeah. The end of a tough cycle approaches and your commitment is being tested. So if you own your own business, I feel that it is going to pay off for you. You're just kind of going through, you know, life has the ebbs and flows. There's the good, there's the bad, the light and the dark. You're kind of just like in this like dark period, but you're going to gain a lot from it. Whatever the situation is for you, you're going to gain a lot from it. Somebody might take time to breathe out. Whew, that was a heavy message. Somebody might lose a masculine figure in the summer, and that could be what all this is about. It was the angel of death that just told me that. Or it's the anniversary of a father figure or a grandfather figure and you're still taking it pretty hard. No, don't freak out about that. That message isn't for everyone. I don't want you to freak out. We have be bold and make the first move. Now, when I had mentioned don't freak out, this is what spirit has at the bottom. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. Um, new moon and cancer is also in the summertime. Now, you might want to go after an opportunity or something with the be bold and make a first move, or there's somebody... Um, you're wanting to pursue romantically. Maybe you're wanting to ask somebody on a date. It's the vibe that I'm getting there. Now, for those of you going through a court case, we have a win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra, which is really beautiful. I was feeling like in the long run, you end up winning the case or whatever it is. But there's definitely a lot of stress behind it. So let's go ahead and move to the fall of 2022. It's happening in the fall. Yeah, I definitely sense a harvest period for the fall of 2022. It's like whatever seeds you were planting in the spring of 2022 is coming to fruition in the fall of 2022. So it's like you started planting seeds. You started feeling better in the spring of 2022. Shit kind of hit the fan. There's some kind of healing. You had to go through a court case, um, resolving trauma, healing it, whatever the case is for you. So then you're starting to feel that stagnation. You're wanting to isolate. You're wanting to make yourself alone. And then the fall of 2022, it's like, that's, uh, you know how we got the card, like your hard work is paying off. Intuitively, I'm picking up that there's a manifestation coming in for you in the fall of 2022. So it's like your uh, harvest period is what I want to say. 
Yeah. We have the emotional withdrawal in reverse. There is definitely some deception or dishonesty. Now, this could also be self-sabotage. Maybe in some way you were self-sabotaging yourself and bringing this energy of stagnation to your growth. But you're coming out of that energy. And if it does correlate to somebody else in your life, it feels very much like you detached and you let it go. So you're kind of in your hermit phase in the summer a little bit and by the fall it's like you're coming out of that you're emerging back into the world i'm having a vision of a butterfly we have justice again some of you definitely have libra in your chart check out that reading we have awareness Yeah, you see the circle above his head. We also have it here in the Justice card. Something's coming full circle. There's a major completion, stepping into your authenticity. Letting go of a burden. Some of you are very spiritual. You're going to get an intuitive download on where to go next. Fall of 2022, what's coming to fruition for Virgo? Coming to fruition for Virgo, my beautiful Virgos. Well, while we're shuffling, if you would like a 2022 yearly report, I do offer those. My website is in the description box below. It is a $350 investment. It comes with the astrology, space to take notes, about two pages of predictions for each individual month and also two mystery bonuses. Ooh, love begins. See, I said you guys are going, I'm dealing with some intuitive Virgos here. You're going to have some kind of intuitive download. You're gonna see something in your dreams. Some of you are going to dream of your soulmate before you actually meet them. Um, I'm actually getting strong love energy here. Now, I do feel it correlates to self-love as well here um, but I'm also intuitively picking up a romantic partner making yeah it's kind of this energy of overflowing with love you turned your back on something in the past and now you're overflowing with love and you have become a magnet for a divine partnership and I feel this person is entering your life in the fall of 2022 Maybe somebody from your past, for some of you. Now, if they treated you like crap, screw them. But if they're actually like a good connection for you, cool. Ooh, if it's not someone from your past, this can be a past life connection. You're gonna recognize them immediately. Okay, let's go to another deck. We have Sacral Chakra in reverse. Um, it's gonna be really important to learn how to process your emotions and express them in a healthy way. Also, some of you need to get moving. There's an energy of needing movement in your life. It'll help balance out your Sacral Chakra. So exercise, dance, going on a walk, um, something like that, especially walking in nature because we have that vision of you walking in nature. Yes, see, love is coming into your life. The higher event. Some of you are simply spiritual leaders and teachers. And you're stepping into this leadership role. It's the reason why you went through this really intense dark night of the soul. It was to prepare you for this. Maybe, oh, I heard somebody... Um, I heard my angel say someone's launching a YouTube channel in the fall of 2022 and it's going to really take off. I don't know if it's immediately or what or some platform, but specifically I saw a vision of YouTube. For others of you, you're literally meeting your divine light partner. 
This is somebody you either knew in the past, you have a strong connection with this person, or this is somebody from a past life. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. Sun at the bottom, card of Leo. We also have Taurus with the Hierophant. Yeah, it's like you're, some of you really healed your abandonment issues or your poverty consciousness and you're coming out of that energy. You're bringing yourself out of the cold. Again, you're coming out of hermit mode. There's definitely a new beginning here for you. Actually, I feel a couple different ones, not only love, but this feels very much tied to your life mission. You're starting to feel a sense of happiness within yourself and it's like it sparks an idea with that page of wands and you end up creating something magical from it. So let's go ahead and move to the winter time. Hold on for the winter. I just got a glimpse of your card again. The winter time for Virgo. The year 2022. Winter time, Virgo. The year 2022. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love this. We have another Leo card here. Um, I don't necessarily feel it's about the zodiac sign, but it could. We have trapped in fear in reverse. You have liberated yourself from a situation. You are feeling free. Totally random, but somebody got out of prison, like a literal prison. Uh, that's a very specific message for someone. I don't feel the person who got out is a Virgo, but you might know somebody that gets out around that time. Interesting message. But the overall message for the majority of you is you've liberated yourself from a very difficult situation. This can be a mental prison, an emotional prison, something you were going through, your trauma. You've liberated yourself from this. You've walked out of that little prison cell that was keeping you trapped. You're fully stepping out of your comfort zone. You're trying new things. Um, you're seeing the truth about a situation and it's very positive because you have called your power you can't make this up oh my gosh i love this for you guys i absolutely love this you have stepped into your power now in the winter of 2022 keep in mind this can be the very beginning of 2022 and the very end so some messages are going to resonate in the beginning some are going to resonate towards the end of the year um, but you are calling your power back to you you might have the lion spirit animal who is helping you with your confidence and to overcome any insecurities that you have. And you're going after something and it looks like a wish. We have fulfillment of wishes here, the nine of cups, but overall you're feeling a deep sense of joy and happiness in your life. We have heartache and loss in reverse and material harvest. Yeah, you've pulled yourself out of some pretty intense pain, for sure. So it looks like the winter time is a harvest period for you as well. This could be when your YouTube channel takes off, if that was your message. The Magician. Gemini and Virgo energy, and we have two of wands. Whew. All right, so you're making a decision in the winter of 2022 about something you want to manifest. This, okay, maybe it is about a Leo. We have the strength card twice. Three of swords in reverse again. A lot of double cards, and then we have the ten of pentacles. We have the nine of wands at the bottom. Maybe some of you have PTSD or you're very on guard about something after being deeply hurt in a situation. 
You're very strong, though. What is this choice for Virgo? Nine of Pentacles. Because it feels like you're wanting to start something new with that page of Pentacles, right? You're wanting to take things slow. Now, this could correlate to the romantic messages, or maybe it's with your career. Like, if you have a business, for example, this can be like, okay, do I want to do this on my own independently, or do I want to have a business partner? It's that kind of energy, and if it's love, it's like, okay, well, I'm enjoying my singlehood. Do I want to stay single, or do I want to enter a relationship with this awesome person that I just met? You know, that kind of vibe. We have the Nine of Cups again, and the Three of Pentacles at the bottom. Wow, with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. So you are fighting for something you deeply desire. I feel that you're going to end up collaborating with somebody. This is going to create massive movement forward for you. This person might be at a distance from you or an opportunity that is at a distance from you. Three of Wands just came out again with the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Page of Swords at the bottom. So there is an energy of knowledge. I'm hearing knowledge is power. You're learning something. You're completely immersing yourself into this project or business or relationship. Whatever this manifestation is, you're completely immersing yourself into it and you're giving it your all. For some of you, you might be wanting to make a friendship into a relationship or a business partner. Because we do have the Three of Cups here. This is a card of friendship, but it's right next to the Ten of Cups, which is interesting because it's almost like maybe you're thinking about having a family or something like that. There's a strong energy here of emotional intelligence, too. So it's kind of like you're thinking about making a friendship into something more, whether it's in business or in love, you'll know. Now we got the tower here. Let's see why. Why is that tower here? I heard sudden realization. Knight of Cups, yeah. You're very much falling in love with somebody around this time, for some of you. For others of you, you're bonding on a business level. What's a tower? Okay, Ace of Cups. All right, yeah. Um, that's pretty straightforward. You're falling in love. You might offer somebody love or somebody offers you love and it's going to come as a bit of a shock. judgment and we have the empress card despite gender guys you see this person is your empress someone who's very loving nurturing motherly she's abundant prosperous for others of you you're finding out you're pregnant with a girl This is a high value woman here. And if it's a man you're meeting, you know, switch the roles to fit your situation. But it's kind of like somebody helped you come back to life. Whatever this dark period was for you, the storm you had to call, or call, the storm you had to calm. Maybe you did call, call it in though, because you wanted change, you know? But it's like somebody helped you through this. They helped you ascend and they helped you rise. And you might find yourself falling in love if that is you and taking a leap of faith with this person. But we are going to stop the reading right there. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot and it helps us grow. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.